Well, I can pretty much guarantee you've never seen a scarab like this. 16 feet of fury for sure. We just finished testing the Scarab 165 Impulse. 250 horsepower of Rotex power on this thing, and what a screamer it is. We got on plane in 1.6 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds with a top speed of 53 miles an hour. And on a boat this small and this low, it feels like you're doing about 103. And But the craziest thing about this is how it launches out of the hole and how it turns. It's just incredible. You gotta be a little careful with your passengers. Make sure to warn them first. And... Well, Doyle, I've been following the history of Scarab for decades now, and I don't recall ever seeing one quite like this. Alan, this boat was introduced in June this year, a little 165. It is a 16-foot jet boat powered by a Rotex 250 horsepower engine. 250, let's do the math, 250 divided by 16. Ouch. Now what do we have for uh, features here? Well, for a 16-foot boat, believe it or not, we have a seating for five. Wow. Which is a different on a boat this size. We have individual seats across here and two in the front. I really like these. This is really ergonomically correct. We worked real hard on that. When you're sitting in this boat, it is going to be tight when you've got five people. We designed the gap in the backrest for air ventilation as well as here. And they're nice and firm and they hold you well. Yeah, you get really wedged in. I love this footrest here. I, you get in here and the captain does his thing, man. You're, you're safe. That's what you do with this boat. It's, it's like a go-kart on the water. <laughs> now, at night, this is pretty cool too. It is. With the premium sound system, you actually flip a switch here with your courtesy lights. It's hard to see now. But you actually have blue lighting, LED lighting in the back of your seats as well and all the seating in the boat. Nice. It sticks out well. Well, it just doesn't look like you can just drive around. It looks like you can uh, do some other things in this boat, too. Absolutely. We have an optional wakeboard tower. As we know, wakeboarding is very popular. You can wakeboard behind it. This is designed to fit that small family or that person on the lake that wants a small toy to do all things. Right. Well, you know, Doyle, on a lot of these small jet boats, uh, the helm is really spartan, but you've managed to put a real sports car helm here. We did. The helm does a lot of things. If you lift it up, there's actually storage beneath for lines and personal items, as well as your stereo. It's equipped with the optional digital throttle and speed control, which allows you to set a cruise control, believe it or not. And you can also set your launch and your acceleration so you can actually set a cruise control for a wakeboarder. Cool. Very cool. Now, one of the neatest angles of this boat is uh, back here. Let's take a look. The back end is where the fun is. Man, for such a small boat, man, we got a, quite a little perch back here. For a 16-foot boat, we talked about this before. You're on the water, you want to be close, but on the water, what a better place to sit and chill. Nice, man. It's very nice. For more information on the Scarab 165 Impulse and other great machines, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water. Launch!